we've been in New Zealand for six months already. One of the first videos we made when we arrived was our first impressions of New Zealand and this is the Blue Peril. I think this whole trip we're just gonna be like Wow, wow we wow oh. wow we wow oh, it's so beautiful <sighs> those were our responses to the beautiful landscapes but is everything else also wow Today we add another beautiful walking track just around the corner from where we live and it's called Mare Park. And while we walk, we are going to tell you about six things that wow, 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 us about New Zealand. Of course, starting with nature. We are still awestruck with New Zealand's beautiful landscapes. As you've seen, we've done a lot since we got here and we're happy to report that we haven't even scratched the surface. I mean, we've only just discovered this beautiful park a few weeks ago and it's literally just around the corner from where we live. We mainly explored Northland and a little bit of Auckland to still have the rest of North Island to explore and the whole of South Island. It's probably going to take us a lifetime to see the whole of New Zealand. The great thing about living in Whangarei is that beaches, walking trails and these volcanic mountains are so easily accessible. When it comes to the beaches, Titukaka Coast for us is just always wow and it's no secret that whale bay is our favorite beach and we are just awestruck every time we go there oh and we still need to do all of those snorkeling trips that you guys have suggested like goat island and poor nights island from the footage i've seen of those places i'm sure it's going to be super impressive My most recent wow moment in nature was when I discovered Cornwall Park and the amazing views of Auckland up from One Tree Hill. I really love how there's these massive parks and volcanic cones so close to the city. Speaking of walking trails and parks, we are so amazed by how easily accessible information is here in New Zealand. <laughs> How can you not be wowed by, by this? Like all these ducks, this is just out in nature. So cool, there's so many ducks in the water and they thought we had food so they start coming towards you. But <laughs> next time we come we'll definitely bring some bread, crumbs or something. This is so cool. <laughs> We've joined so many different Facebook groups, including the Fungaray District Council Facebook group. Then we went onto the website for the first time and found so much information that's so readily available for everyone. There's a list and a map of all the walking and cycling tracks, a list of all the parks, a map with the children's playgrounds in Fungaray, and even a map showing where all the public toilets are. We'll add the link to the description of the video for anyone who's interested in going to find out more information for themselves. Something else we're super impressed with is communication. As you might know, a few weeks ago, New Zealand was hit by a terrible cyclone, but we both got this emergency alert on our phones. It was a civil defense sending an emergency alert. That message was jam-packed, full of information, which Facebook groups to join, which websites to check for updates, and also their emergency number, which is yeah. triple one, by the way. On the second day of the cyclone, the power went off, which is totally understandable because it was a cyclone. I hardly said to Craig, I wonder what's going on, I wonder what the problem is, when North Power actually posted on their Facebook page with the CEO telling the public what is going on. He was even on site where the big tree fell over one of the main power lines and that's why we didn't have electricity. At two o'clock in the morning, it came yeah. back on which meant people were out there working in a cyclone to restore our power. Yeah. That was just 
incredible. And it's amazing how they told us how many households were affected. They would tell us 20,000, went down to 15,000. They keep giving updates, which is quite incredible. And that's the communication I'm talking about. It's just, it's amazing that they can tell us those facts. The Whangarei District Council page continuously posted updates on the conditions. They kept updating the post, telling you about which roads are closed, which trails are closed. So you knew when you left your home where the safe routes were to go, to work or to the shops. Even today, a lot of the roads and trails are still closed. And we should have checked the website because this trail is actually closed. There's a big gate in front of us saying, danger, stay out. And we can see the big tree that fell over that's blocking the way. But at least we can show you this part of the river and the park, which is still beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still so impressed how pedestrian friendly New Zealand is. There are walking trails, there are hiking trails, there are bike lanes, there are drop curbs for people on scooters. And the best thing is a lot of the pedestrian walkways are off the main road with a little island between the road and the pedestrian walkway. Drivers are also very cautious here. The pedestrian crossings are for the pedestrians and they always stop for you. Talking about drivers, they are so courteous on the road. We found that if you put your indicator light on, they give you a gap. They also wait in lines where the lanes merge they don't kind of shoot down the one side or or try to take you out on the shoulder we feel very safe on the roads there are obviously always a few rebels in the world but majority of people are really good on the roads and we love it something that we will never take for granted and we'll appreciate every day and we're so happy and wowed with is how safe we feel in new zealand we don't have to constantly look over our shoulders and hold our possessions close to our body so somebody on our instagram stories asked us if we picked up any new routines or lost old ones and yes we don't set the alarm in our house every night anymore we don't necessarily go around checking that everything is closed and security doors and everything is closed it's just peaceful and something that we really really appreciate Seeing that it's almost dinner time and that these sand flies are attacking us because they're probably also hungry <laughs> brings us to our last point and that is something that wows us in a good and a bad way. Let's start with a good and that is that we are yet to have a bad experience when it comes to restaurants. We've had the most amazing food and what I love most is the Asian food, especially a place called Fung Thai down the road from my work. We have this amazing red curry for lunch, usually on a Friday. Portion sizes are normally so big and the food is really good. But then the service is also amazing. And some of my favorite places we've been to is Harbour Eats in Auckland. We have all the little restaurants, almost like a food court set up and also Pontemi Central. The time we say wow in a bad way is when tomatoes cost how much? <laughs> Nine or ten dollars a kg, which is a lot. Then we pick it up and we like wow we can't believe it costs this much for tomatoes <laughs> what we found here in new zealand the fresh produce is quite expensive it's actually a bit cheaper to buy the frozen packets of veg which we do quite a lot we are wasting a lot less we're using every last bit of tomato and cucumber and lettuce mm. <laughs> so even after six months of earning new zealand dollars we still think that food prices are high but it's not just us it's even locals that think that and it's due to various reasons across the world. Yeah, the cost of living is high in every country right now. So we came at a time where it was already high. So we're yeah. just adapting to that way of living right now. Also, it doesn't help that New Zealand is so far away from everything. So mm. yeah, prices do tend to be higher here. And I think minimum wage also has an impact because it's also quite high. But all the wilds can't always be good. So sometimes there's going to be yeah. a, like a shock factor but we are careful with our spending and we buy when things are gone special. That mm. makes a huge difference and it's a big help. So after six months, we can happily say that we are loving New Zealand. It's amazing that there is still so much to see and do and we just can't wait to get to all of it. And I just know that South Island is going to be so amazing. So if you recently immigrated to New Zealand, let us know what your biggest wow moment was. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye. This is the blooper reel. Wow. 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 No. Okay. And. Uh, okay. 
and volcanic mountains. Volcanic mountains. And they just. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> 